Okay, finding the values of the six trig functions using a point on the unit circle. So we're given this point, and it's the point negative one half, comma square root three over two. So without talking about what that, what uh, angular value that corresponds to, we can still find the sine value. We know sine of t is equal to the y value, so that's just equal to square root of three over two. We also know that cosine of t is equal to the x value, and that's equal to negative one half, isn't it? The tan value, and we know this, that tan is y over x, so that's equal to square root 3 over 2 over negative 1 half. We can simplify that out, can't we? Because look at this. This is a complex fraction, so this thing comes up like that. So we get square root 3 over 2 times negative 2 over 1, which is equal to opposite square root 3, right? Okay, so from here we can start going to the reciprocal identities. This one, sine, the opposite of sine is cosecant of t, which is equal to 1 over y, which is equal to, whoops, which is equal to 2 over square root 3, Okay, I just wanted to make sure I was going to do this. Remember that we, we have got to get the radical out of the denominator. So I'm going to multiply by square root of 3 over square root of 3. Remember that's just 1 I'm multiplying by. And that will give us 2 square roots of 3 over 3. And that's our answer for this. So there's that piece right there. For cosine, the opposite of cosine is secant of t. And secant of t is 1 over x, so that's 1 over negative 1 half, which is equal to negative 2, isn't it? And lastly, we have cotan, cotan of t, and cotan of t is x over y, and x over y is negative, is equal to a negative 1 half over square root 3 over 2, and we can simplify that out by doing it this way, by taking negative 1 half times 2 over square root 3. These things cancel out. We get negative 1 over the square root of 3. We're going to have to do a little bit of work here. We're going to have to multiply by the square root of 3 over the square root of 3, and that will give us negative square root 3 over 3. 3 is our answer for cotan. All right? So all very, very doable. Just takes a little bit of work, and we have to remember our identities there. So hopefully this video was helpful for you. If you haven't already subscribed, please do.